Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis, Hyundai, and Gia cars. And as you can see on my background, I have tens and tens of Ionic 6 that has just been released and I've been going over the exterior, the interior review of this car on my previous videos. I actually have a handful of them, so make sure you go check them out right there. Today, I'm here to test drive this car, finally. <laughs> This is what I'd be wanting the most because I personally was really eager to get this car myself but because of the personal issues I decided not to get an Ionic 6 but probably I'll get Ionic 7 maybe but this car is the car that I wanted the most that I've been waiting the most I mean we've seen all of this design before but just look at this I absolutely love the pixel lights when it's turned on the reflector being when it reflects off during the nighttime that looks beautiful as well and also the reverse light but once again all this i've covered already on my previous video there it is the ultimate red metallic i actually drove <laughs> couple hours just to get this color on the video once again the ultimate red metallic in the broad daylight right here well it's kind of a, a building structure parking lot so wow this looks a little bit of like vivid red or it kind of has that dull color look to it when it has the less lighting but it looks beautiful under the sunlight that's for sure as we know ionic 6 only has few bright colors so mostly it's matte black toned down cars like the ones that we see right here so it's going to be hard to capture cars like this so just looking at this car from behind it has the mixture of like the plastic piece high gloss piano black with the reflectors and its original paint and with the clear tail lights like that don't forget about the tail lights and this i've mentioned on my previous video the five things you didn't know about ionic 6 that is this shark antenna this is actually somewhat transparent as well that was like completely transparent on its prototype but now that's been changed and toned down a little bit once again all this detail i've covered already on my previous video so go check that out serenity pearl white the color that i got for the test driver today honestly this clear type tail light looks the best with white and black if you've been following i've actually mentioned this in my previous video that this color is actually my one of my favorites as well i would have 100 percent have gone with serenity white if i were to get one myself with that being said let's hop in the ionic 6 and once again i went through all the details about the interior and exterior of this ionic 6 on my previous video so go check it out on the card above and also the link below and this is the fully loaded model it has everything that you can include on your ionic 6 so starting with the digital side mirror dsm it is the same thing that we have seen from ionic 5 that is because of the transparent mirror top cover like i've mentioned that you can see right here so this is one of the the design cue with the ionic 6 as well and that you can find on the shark antenna as well as the rear spoiler and also the side mirror this is the steering wheel that we have seen from ionic 5 that we are familiar with right but this dotted line that is interactive pixel lights well kind of gives you a feedback these are different light patterns so we'll see and i'll test that out throughout today's drive as well so this is actually the key fob for hyundai ionic 6 as we can see this is the hyundai logo emblem has a lock unlock and uh, auto start honk button as well so over here you can see remote parking assist keys available on ionic 6 as well nothing on this side and what i can feel immediately is that the key is really light compared to the conventional ones that we have throughout everything inside the car is by a design and there are thoughts put behind right but really curious why and how they actually made this car into the soul light car obviously this is the wireless phone charger but just check this out this really was one of my wow factor as well and you see pixels everywhere and throughout today's video i mean i've been trying but you'll see a lot a lot of pixels throughout pixels over here as well of course once again here here guess what that is but keep an eye on that 
check that out. <laughs> so that's how they indicate the phone charging status now. I think it's the same thing now. Let's see. Oh yeah, so it's the same thing. The UI is the same thing. It gives you and shows you that the phone started to charge with the yellow light. When it's fully charged, it's gonna turn into green light. Now it's really intuitive and I bet 99% sure that this will also turn into green once it's fully charged. So right here is the cup holder, but don't forget about this massive storage. I'm keeping my DSLR right here as well as some of my suctions for my GoPro install. But look at this. You can fit a purse over there, no problem. This is the drawer type. And this is something that we've seen from Ionic 5 as well. Probably the language that the Ionic brand is trying to carry over. Of course, it's smaller than that of the Ionic 5s, but this is something that you can definitely make a good use of. You know, this is very practical and functional as well. So not the drop down type of a glove box, but sliding as we can see. And that is the ambient light that Hyundai and Ionic 6 highlighted the most. All right, so we are going for a drive. So I have the auto hold. Everything is where it needs to be. You can find them right away. Auto hold. And just so you know, all the buttons that were on the doors have now moved into the middle. Everything is in the middle. The lock, unlock the car, the power windows, and also auto hold and a door lock button. And well, honestly, that's pretty much it. Well, there is not much of a button in the middle. So mostly are in the infotainment system as well. I'll give you the POV drive on my way back. Now I'm merging into the highway, so a lot of power. But immediately I can feel that the car is sitting much lower than Ionic 5 for the obvious reason, of course. The nearly same battery pack and the size and also the wheelbase. However, it has the sedan, but this has the lowest coefficient of drag of 0.21 in Hyundai Motor Group family. And the lowest production car out there is 2.20 from Mercedes EQS. All right, so we have a turn up ahead. Let me speed up a little bit. All right, so it holds the understeel really great. Well, I'll give you a much more stronger feedback on our drives. <laughs> and I'm on the highway. I can see the lane keeping assist is on. Uh, let me turn on the HDA as well. Now is the perfect time. Here in Korea, when you put the car on the highway, this HDA is actually hooked up with the infotainment navigation system. So it will slow down the car whenever there is a speed camera in front of you. So even if you are by mistake exceeding the speed limit, this the car itself will lower the speed and hence you don't get a uh, ticket from that point. <laughs> Tell me in the comment below if that is also the case where you are. I'm always learning and curious about what the car environment is like around the globe. I'm used to HDAs and I think I've seen all the progression of the HDA thus far starting with the very original one that there has been a lot of upgrade in terms of that. All right, we're on a highway. Let's floor it from 65 to 100 which is the speed limit. So it picks up just like that. You see the power is there. This is the beauty of all EV cars, which is at the top of the accelerator, it sends the car <laughs> like this. Let's have a little bit of a push. And also let's go over about the NVH about Ionic 6. NVH stands for noise, vibration, and harshness. Simply put, it's about how quiet, how cozy the car is. Overall, the Ionic 6 is actually an upgrade from that of the Ionic 5. It's not necessarily because they have used different materials on Ionic 6 or whatnot, but it mostly has to do with the design of Ionic 6. Inspired from Pebble, Ionic 6 has that streamliner design that is like the dream of a car design back in 80s if not 70s from the start of the car design designers knew that the streamliner design works so that's why and how ionic 6 was able to draw the 0.21 coefficient of drag and that goes back to the nvh all that design has to do with this lower noise coming into the cabin and of course the first row and second row windows has the double pane window dual pressed really really quiet and cozy inside as we can see there's the this traffic building up and the car is stopping on its own 
I did not do anything, well, except for pressing on the hazard light. That is like the um, culture here in Korea. So this seat is something that we have seen from Ionic 5, but it has a lo little bit of a different shape to it. The seat on Ionic 6 is actually the thinnest from among the family. Over here, take a look at the digital side mirror. The difference is, is that on Ionic 5 and other GV60, the car in front of us, the digital side mirror, the monitor was stationed somewhere right here. You could get used to it relatively quickly because the traditional conventional side mirror was sitting right there. That's where you are looking at by instinct right now the display has moved definitely much more inward it does not interfere whatsoever with the window on the left and of course on the right as well ionic 5 that was not the case it was somewhat covering this much portion of the window right here but that's not the case with ionic 6. the digital side mirror monitor sits right here flush with the design take a look at this one right here it has that gentle smooth curve and this is actually inspired from that winglets the winglets from airplanes so this hugs around all throughout the cabin left and right when you don't choose a digital side mirror some countries it's still illegal right so if you don't pick the digital side mirror this top portion is gone so this is what you see and still without the top portion we have this beautiful flush design that sets part of the overall interior this is just starting to happen right all this uh, digital side mirror thing so in the near future it's not going to be a big surprise if we see monitors even inside this infotainment system there's not much of a point of you looking left and right to see what's behind your car when you could just straight look into this and take a look at both both sides at the same time what do you guys think about that I've been using the HDA really comfortable and it also changes lane on its own so keep your hand on a steering wheel and just press down like that and look at this I'm not doing anything but it changes lane on its own just like that on a long highway drives you don't even want to change lanes yourself right so the car's got it all taken care of make a good use of it I think I'll be using it a lot on my highway drive and as you can see I already got used to the digital side mirror and it gives you the blind spot monitor and also when you are making a lane change it gives you the guideline with the dotted red and orange it tells you that the car is in your way or you're in their way so that way you don't get lost so let me show you one on right here so take a look at this so there is the red bar dotted lines and orange right here good for you to make a lane change that the car is behind the orange inside the red the car is in actually your blind spot and you're in their way the blind spots are really really all taken care of within this car once you get the digital side mirror so that's another takeaway for you to keep in mind as for the digital side mirror it shines the most under poor weather conditions on pouring rain conditions i had that personally experienced with ionic 5 and let's actually pick up some speed right here on the tight corners brakes transfer the weight to the front Oh my God, oh my, oh my God, this is, all right, I have a turn in front of me right here. Heavy brakes, turns, and another circular turn. And picking up speed. And brakes, brake up, okay. And it just stops the car so gently and smooth and beautiful oh my god the weight is all at the bottom of this car i mean i almost want to say the heavy batteries sitting underneath this car is now almost a plus because not only does it give you that gentle push with the heavy weight all the center of the gravity is so much lower than that of the internal combustion cars this is more predictable for you to push the car around the turns and even for the brakes as well when i was just slamming i did not even slam the brakes on that point but when i was slowing down the car i could could definitely feel the weight shift just it, the weight was sinking down altogether the front and the rear this is something that I felt on Ionic 5 and other EGMP cars of course ought to be blunt however this car being a sedan you know 
there is no comparison when it comes to when you drive a car and that driving sensation feeling to it comparing a sedan to that of the SUV of course the sedan is much better and Ioniq 6 is almost like a coupe style so that being said it gives me that much more gentle turns and curves I absolutely loved the way how the car was stopping slowing down the car and putting the car to a halt uh, you can see the, all the all the excitement that I have already but this is just so exciting so with the all-wheel drive Ioniq 6 it has the ELSD it distributes the excessive power necessary to left or right wheels according to the conditions it gives you more stable corners and turns and definitely more power and stability I gotta mention it because we have the car right in front of us that is Tesla Model 3 it's the one of the biggest competitor with this Ioniq 6 of course so I really wonder and curious how the market would respond to Ioniq 6 to that of the Tesla Model 3 don't get me wrong Tesla Model 3 and Tesla overall is a great great car and great brand of course no doubt on that however I personally think that the car has been out there just for too long with that design i really think that the design is you know very very overdue so once again bye bye tesla model 3 i have a very good feeling that this ionic 6 is going to be a strong strong competitor in its market zero to 60 right here let's go full throttle oh actually before we do that of course we got to put the car into sport all right so come to a halt let's go zero to 60 <laughs> 60 right there and brakes <laughs> and heavy brakes <laughs> and just like that the car has everything it delivers it stops and it sends the car and the all the electronic devices are there to aid you this is not the performance car we know that right however however all with the all the dual motor spec cars that's including ionic 5 as well if you have dual motors it has more than enough of the performance capability you can't even track this car for sure we got to double check on the battery management system the heat brakes other than that the performance is all there given the chance if i were to just put this car onto corners and turns I already feel that this car is just so so much fun before I hit the destination, it's on the curvy roads. Uh, so I actually want to push this car just a little bit, you know, and have some fun. I can already, <laughs> you see, I am, I'm already smiling right here. <laughs> All right, so we are going on this winding twisty turns and roads. Let's have some fun. ELSD holding up. And even the understeer, wow! The understeer control, that is just insane! I could definitely feel the ELSD engaging, and wow! Let's go! And speed bump, brakes, and even the speed bump, it goes over so smooth and just so much power. This definitely is an all wheel drive. All right, speed bump. And the ground clearance on this Ionic 6 is just massive. So I can even go over the speed bump like that with a fast speed, no problem. It does not scrape the bottom. And also the battery team, see? I, I intentionally went over the speed bump strong, but there is no scrape whatsoever. All right, let's go. Heavy turns. The understeer is holding up so oh my god oh my god oh my god the weight transfer it is so gentle and you can see how fast this car responds the amount of grip and the understeer that this controls is just massive oh my god and brakes all right so yeah brake is giving up on me a little bit but you know if you just uh gently work on your brakes and manage the brakes all right i mean this will give you all the performance that you want and that you need no problem oh my god oh my god <laughs> this car is just so much fun 
And I, I saw this coming. I saw this coming. I knew this is what the car would be like. Oh my God, I just can't wait for the end variant on this car. Oh my God, oh my God. So the brake upgrades, definitely you need that if you want some more fun. But once again, this is a family sedan, but the performance, the way it shoots out and sends the car out, it's always there, it's all there. So don't you worry about that at all. So it picks up the speed, you see, just like that. Oh my God. And the speed bump, no problem. All right, so. <laughs> All right, so my girlfriend here is giving up, so I gotta slow down just a little bit. As for the drive modes, there is Eco, Normal, and Sport, and Press Hold for Snow. Those are the modes that we have. This time, I want to put the car onto a normal mode. Even with on my sports driving, I just showed you, uh, I can feel the, that long wheelbase is there. The long wheelbase was still the same for Ionic 5 as well. Ionic 5. I could definitely feel that the rear was catching up relatively slower. I'm getting more surprised right here, right now, because now I start thinking about it. The wheelbase on Ionic 6 is massive as well. That can definitely be found, and that is evident from the second row seat, the leg room. But when I was putting the car on tight turns and corners, I could relatively feel that the rear was catching up super, super fast. If you are in the market, if you are looking for somewhat sporty car in slash a daily driver and sedan, Ionic 6 will definitely deliver all of that. So don't you worry. I tend to go over a little bit fast on speed bumps intentionally, but the rebound that it gives me on this is really, really soft and great as well. It's not like those uh, cushiony, soft, you know, jello-like kind of a feel. No, it's not that. It definitely is more closer to that of a sporty aspect, once again. But still, it goes over relatively, you know, smoothly, quiet, and it's really, really great. If you are looking for like that of uh, the Genesis uh, G80, excuse me, or G90 kind of a feel to it, Ionic 6 is, is not the car for you. So on normal mode, I can pick up the speed whenever, wherever I like, just at the tap of the accelerator. So all this time, I was on level one when it comes to the region brakes. So this time, let me put on to the level three oh my god what was i thinking so i should have had the car on gen 3 when i was pushing the car so i was a hundred percent or like a 90 percent relying on the foot brake and foot brake only when i was stopping the car so there must have been a lot of stress on the foot brake so that's probably why the brake pads faded relatively quicker than I anticipated. If I had the car on region level three, the car would have definitely given me more performance for a longer lasting time. So now I am on iPedal mode. And just so you know, iPedal is one pedal driving. So use the accelerator to accelerate and let go off of it to decelerate. So you can control this car just by having your foot on the accelerator. And what, what happens to when you come to a complete stop, there's a red light, we'll just take off your foot relatively at the, at the right timing and the car will also stop completely uh, on its own. You get used to it in a few tries, so don't worry about that much. I think that is one of the handy feature when you daily drive and put this car on city drives. Oh, and of course the HDA, so good use of HDA plus one pedal driving lifesaver the road condition not the best one right in front of me right now but just check it out the rattling sound is from my stuff underneath so quiet and smooth so even on the bumps like this ionic 6 gives me and is providing me a great drive the work on the the nvh noise vibration and harshness work that's been done on this car is just immaculate 
And once again, you already see that I am used to this digital side mirror already. I paddle turns off when I enable the HDA. What I see from the rear view mirror, it's not the largest one like that we would have seen from a regular sedan. No, it feels more like a coupe rear view. But again, you get good amount of uh, sight the views are compensated with the digital side mirror and also the tech behind so it should not be much of a problem you'll get used to it in no time honestly too so the line of sight this ionic 6 being a sedan it gives me the typical sedan eye level but the car is just so spacious inside i can feel that roominess even even when i am driving and inside the driver's seat and the cockpit and just look at ionic 6 blending in with in this uh, public roads and city roads and also how it stands out from other cars on the street what do you think ionic 6 is like definitely a another level feels like the car has come from the future just like how it was with the ionic 5 hyundai did it again as soon as there is no car in front of me it picks up the speed like right away so that is another beauty of the hda working together with the motor or the nature of the ev there is no shift down between the transmission you don't have to shift down when you need the power the motor would just send the car out right away overall hda experience is just not a match to that of the internal combustion engine and of course in a very good way you see, I keep turning on the HDA and when I don't have it on, I use the eye pedal. Far more less stress compared to the cars without. This I really wanted to capture. This is the interactive pixel lights and it's a little hard to see probably during this um, super bright out right now. But when I have the voice recognition system on, the color changes and shifts and you see that way we know and it's interacting. It's listening to what I am saying let's do it one more time so I just asked the car to give me the news and that's what it's doing right now voila you can even open up your sunroof with the voice recognition system. Sunroof, open it. And once again, we can close the sunroof. And this also comes into action when you are charging your car. Unlike what you had to do with the uh, conventional ones, looking into the display to check and see how, met, how much battery is there. So let me show you all the colors, or if not most colors, I don't see the ultimate red yet. All Ionic 6 colors in the sunlight. So let's get started with this uh, Serenity White Pearl, the car that I have been driving. So different colors that's all been used on the exterior of Ionic 6 is really evident under the sunlight, starting with this plastic part right here that's finished in gray, the gloss black clear taillight, as well as the spoiler. Don't forget about that. This semi-transparent shark antenna as well. Let me give you a close-up look this is what it looks like under a bright bright sunlight that we have here today this has to be the black abyss pearl so that is the black color that you are looking for this right here is the nocturne gray metallic we have two of them here Compare that to that of the Serenity White Pearl on the right. We don't get all the colors here in Korea, but here I want to touch up on this color for sure. And this is the Digital Green Pearl is my best guess. Biophilic Blue Pearl, or it could be Transmission Blue Pearl, but Transmission Blue Pearl is the color that I saw from the motor show. So I'm pretty sure that this is the Biophilic Blue Pearl. So that purple color that strikes off, this is the abyss black pearl. This is the grayish color, or excuse me, the greenish color. So the color here are quite subtle. The differences are a little hard to tell, except for the serenity white, that's for sure. 
reverse light lights up right there and even the reverse lights are pixels on Ionic 6. The developers they have actually mentioned that they try to use all the pixels possible where necessary or where, wherever it's possible on Ionic 6. So right here oh we just saw the active grill shutter that just closes on its own active air flap excuse me it opens and closes on its own the ECU controls it there's no separate button for that but it does open up and close on its own whenever it's necessary so right here we see six dots right here so that also shows the charging status of the Ionic 6 as well so look at that right there the active air flap is open and we see the coolers the radiators for that so the chime when you make a reverse it's the good old chime that we know of from Hyundai Motor Group gee I love that reverse light what have you done with this Ionic 6 ah I love this so look at this active air flap closes like that so when you park your car after some of the sports driving sporty driving I think the flap would remain open the flap is all open and when it's open that's what you see inside the car all right so that's it for today I'll actually give you a POV drive after on my way back but if I add that video to this it's gonna be forever long so come back for that video and don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea if you did and I'll upload that POV video in a few hours days so make sure you come back for that and i'll see you in the next video bye recorded the battery usage on our way here and i will of course i have no chance from the way i've been driving but right here the top is 7.0 so seven kilometers per kilowatt hour and so that is the real world test that we have right here so this is the number you can definitely anticipate